Well, hello there. As you can see, I am in a different location today. I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of Christmas in the background here. I'm getting distracted by like the, like, I don't know what it's doing over here. There's like this box. I don't know what it's trying to see. The faces of my juggling balls? Is that what it's picking up. What I'm really here to talk about is we've had a lot of videos about multiple selves in this channel. Um, the inner versus the outer self, the, and, and maybe that it, it kind of connects to that now that I'm saying that out loud. What we're talking about today has nothing to do with the out, outer self. It has more of more to do with the, the inner self that kind of gets locked in. And then all of a sudden when it explodes out there it really explodes and so um i'm gonna describe it more of like so you have your natural normal everyday self your savior self and then you have the um the, the self that maybe doesn't get as much um view time does not come out of the castle it's kind of locked in the dungeon often and that would be the demon self. And um, so if you are wondering where these terms, why, why am I using these terms, savior demon? They come from objective personality and check out all the information below if you're wondering. So my savior self is the one that is cool, calm, collected. It comes out naturally. And then my demon self is awkward and weird. And sometimes what that means is that it's kind of aggressive. I do have an aggressive side. In OP terms, would be like a tidal wave makes it kind of show itself. What am I talking about? Well, normally I am just a happy-go-lucky, you know, just go with the flow kind of person. And then all of a sudden, when something happens that kind of triggers this response, I become almost like a totally different person. And I would call this new person, this whole new person that really isn't me, her name is Maureen. Maureen is my other personality. It's like Jekyll and Hyde, except was Jekyll ever like a good person? I don't know. <laughs> Why am I using an analogy that I don't even know if it works? So it's kind of like, Oh, you know, would be a good idea, a good example would be, um, so from the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, you have the, <laughs> you have the mayor who has two faces and when he is fine and happy and he's just going around, he has the, the happier face and he's like, yay, we can do this. We can get this going. Come on guys. Yeah. And then when he gets triggered, there we go. The other side flips around and he's like total like despot, like angry, like, let's go, let's go. Where's Jack? Where's this? Where's that? Yeah. So that's me. I'm the mayor of Halloween Town. Yep. Yep. That's me. So most of the time, yes, it's on the happy side, but then every so often there comes the Maureen. Her name is Maureen. She's in there. She's in inside me somewhere. And she'll come out and she's a real biatch. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm, I can laugh at it now. I don't want to say that I am a biatch sometimes, but that's not something I want to go around like portraying. I don't want that to be me, but yet it comes out every so often. Where this all started was <laughs> when I was in high school, I had mono and it would be nice to say that i got mono by kissing somebody but actually no it was the boy in front of me in english i was in ninth grade and he must have had like walking mono i don't know if that's a thing but it he was coughing and that's how i got it it was not from kissing anybody so i didn't even get to have fun before i got sick it affected different parts of my body i had to go to the hospital and all that sort of thing but what ended up happening is they gave me really 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 strong medicine i don't even know what it is i know it had some sort of steroid in it and it's one of those it was so strong that you had to wean yourself off and because i had mono i was really weak and so i would um 
I would get build back my strength by going somewhere. My mom would take me somewhere like to the mall and we would walk around to build the strength. Um, and at some point I wanted to go to a place nearby and my mom's like, no, we can't go. And I distinctly remember after she said no, that we can't go, I walked out of the room, I went into the living room, plopped myself down on the chair, and I just beat the chair and I started screaming into it. Who is this person? Yeah, there's Maureen. There's this like scary biatch of a person that comes out raging and she, she's not very nice. She's not a nice person. I can select when Maureen comes out and Maureen comes out in places that I feel safe. So at home, she comes out a lot, not a lot, but she comes out, out more often than let's say at work. Um, because I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately for Chris, I know I'm safe here. I know that he loves me. And therefore sometimes I may act like a biatch and rage. And he's like, whoa, whoa, slow your roll. And then, you know, I, get like the sense knocked into me and I see now I'm getting better at seeing sooner when she comes out but quite often she comes out when uh, let's see um when I have unprocessed emotions that is for a hundred percent certain she comes out then and sometimes she comes out when I get overly stressed um, I'll get snippy and there comes Maureen. Maureen is out, put Maureen back. <laughs> but what would be actually really nice is if Maureen and I could be friends um, and that I can see Maureen coming, I need to prepare myself um, because <laughs> I shouldn't expect others to prepare themselves for Maureen. That's not very nice. I need to prepare myself if I notice like, whoa, 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 I see Maureen. She's walking down the streets. Um, stop. I need to stop. I need to think about what is going on because it, it always seems to take me by surprise. Like I'll all of a sudden start like talking very snippy. There's Maureen and it's like, whoa, where did that come from? I have no idea. And like, Recently, um, it has been a little stressful with just work, school, blah, 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 everything. And um, Chris pointed it out to me. He's like, uh, whoa, what's what's going on? You know, you're, this is not you. What What's what's happening? He basically pointed it out to me that I need to be taking a look at myself. And so I, I, I he was like trying to help me too. He's trying to help me process it. And I said, I have no idea. I have no idea what's causing this. And so, yeah. It, and the thing is like, and I've asked him this, like, how do you know if what you're thinking is right? And his answer was, you just think on it. You think on it some more. And it's like, but if I feel like this is the cause, how do I know that that's really the cause? It's almost like I, I need like somebody to like answer the question. Do you think that's what's going on? Is this what's happening that's causing this? And no one can answer that but me, but it's like, I still don't trust myself. I don't trust myself to have the answer. I mean, I know that in the past I have told myself lies just so I wouldn't have to think about it anymore. And so how do I, how do I trust myself if I know that that's been my reaction before? And I know the, I know Chris is right. I know that the answer is, I just need to think on it some more, but that's so dang hard. I just don't like even thinking about it right now. Like I thought about it already. Do I have, to, do I really need to think about it some more? Can, can there really be more information there? And the answer is yes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course, right? If you think about it some more, then of course there's going to be more it's just so counterintuitive. It's like, I figured it out. All right, keep going. But that can't be true. That That's the lie I'm telling myself. That is, that's what I got for today. Maureen comes out to play and nobody likes to play with her. And I don't blame him because Maureen's a biatch and I really need to be paying attention to when Maureen is on her way because 
I mean, I'm okay with being friends with Maureen as long as we balance each other out. And we're not doing that. The swing, the swing needs to be not so black and white. Yes, it always goes back to the same answers. No all or nothing thinking. Things are not always black and white. I need to balance it out and see all the grays. And so it can't just be me and Maureen. There's gotta be like moments where I'm like, okay, there is Sandy and Sandy turns into Edna and then Edna turns into Sally and then Sally turns into Maureen. And so I need to like see those other gradients before I get to Maureen and then I'm not very nice. I'm, I don't want to be that person. Since I have control over who I am, I choose not to be Maureen. I choose to see Maureen and accept that Maureen is part of me, but then also not act like Maureen. I might think like Maureen. I don't have to act like her. I don't have to be so... Uh, I, I don't need to have lost so much control that I have become Maureen. So yeah, what about you? Where do you see your other side coming out? What is your flip side? On one side you are heads, on the other side you are tails. And what does your tails end look like? I mean, is are they a butt just like I am? My tails end is a butt for sure. That is our video for today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.